So, do you have a kid that likes to keep everything? That's my eight-year-old son. He loves to keep everything and that creates a lot of clutter. He's like a squirrel. He likes to squirrel stuff away in the weirdest places. So watch this video to see how he cleared the clutter and intend to keep it that way. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those that are new, thank you so much for coming to check out my channel. My name is Britt and I do videos and also share on my blog, BrittBringsItHome.com, simple tips for creating a healthy and organized home. So today we're tackling some organization. I'm in my son Jackson's room and we're about to do some cleaning, clear some clutter, and organize in a way that he can keep it looking good. So keep watching for some motivation and some tips I'll be sharing for clearing the clutter, organizing, and helping your kids to keep an organized room. All right, let's go. Okay, so when I organize any room, I go one area at a time. So in Jackson's room, we are starting with his dresser. And in his dresser, we go one drawer at a time. So whatever drawer we're working on, these are the steps that we follow. We get everything out, first of all, and then we clean. And I'm using a microfiber cloth in my homemade furniture dusting spray. And I'm just spraying a few squirts onto my cloth and then wiping down, kind of dusting inside the drawer, on the sides, and on the front. After it's all nice and clean and we've gotten all the dust and dirt and sands and whatever out, then we kind of declutter. Or if you follow the home edit and watch their show on Netflix, which I highly recommend. I love that show. But this is what they call the edit step. So this is where we go through and we get rid of things that we no longer need or like or want or things that don't fit anymore. With the sock drawer, I had Jackson make sure that all the socks were folded with their match and any socks that did not have a match we put in the laundry room and then I have a jar in the laundry room that has socks that are missing a match and so if I can match them up I will if there is no match for them I'm just gonna throw them away after we've checked where the other match could be and we haven't found it I just throw them away I don't see any point to keeping single socks forever <laughs> waiting to find their missing match he has plenty of other socks he can wear. So after we do the edit part, then we put things away in a neat, contained, and orderly way. So for his socks, he made sure to fold them all and then put them in nice lines where he's able to see them all. For his pajamas and his pants and shorts that go in his drawer, we folded them the Marie Kondo way. I read her book a while ago called The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. Marie Kondo is another organization guru, and I really like that book. There were some things that I don't necessarily agree with, but a lot of good takeaways. And the biggest takeaway I got from her book is the way to fold. I love this method of folding where you stand things up and you're able to see exactly what is in the drawer really well, and it makes it easier to find what you're looking for when it's time to get dressed. So for his pants, we folded like the left side over to the right and then folded them in half, like top to bottom, and then folded them in half again. For things that are shorter, like the shorts, we just folded in half left to right and then folded in half again from top to bottom. That's it. So you just kind of fold things depending on the size that it is. Some things I fold in thirds, some things fourths, some things just in half, and then stand them up. After we were done organizing and all the drawers in his dresser, I made sure to dust like the whole surface area of the dresser and the different things that were on the dresser. And we did declutter a little bit on his dresser, got rid of some things that didn't need to be up there and made sure that it wasn't cluttered looking. And we just had a few pictures and a lamp and some antlers and that's it. So next we moved on to his bookshelves. Jackson did a pretty good job of keeping his bookshelves organized. 
but they still definitely needed to be dusted. So we still followed our steps. We went one shelf at a time and got everything off the shelf and dusted it. And then we put things back and we have his bookshelf organized by fiction or nonfiction. And then we also have holiday books in a separate little area. Before we had all like of his nonfiction books on the top shelf in order by height from tallest to shortest. And then same thing on the bottom two shelves with the nonfiction books. However, I decided to change it up this time and in each section, instead of putting them in height order, we decided to put them in color order. So all the nonfiction books on the top shelf we put in color order and same thing on the bottom two shelves with the nonfiction books. And I figured this will just make it a lot easier when it's time to put a book away because it's a lot easier to figure out what color something is than what height it is and colors are just a lot more visual and you can see right away what the color on the spine is and where it should go. So I think it looks a whole lot nicer organized by color and I just like the rainbow look of it. On his little cube bookshelf, we have some other things. He has like coloring books and notebooks and things like that that he writes in. So he went through and organized that and he got rid of a lot of things and I gave him some direction. I said, you know, Jackson, set aside the things that you aren't gonna use. You don't really color that much anymore. So if there's coloring books that you know you're not gonna use anymore, set them aside. Or if there's just random papers in here, you can throw them away. And he did a really good job with that. And he only put the things back in the basket that he would use. And then in another one of those baskets, we have like electronics. So he has his CDs and we made sure that each CD was in their right CD case. And then he has his Kindle and we made sure we had the right charger for that. There was another charger in there that didn't work. So we tested out the chargers with the Kindle and figured out which one worked and threw out the one that didn't work. And then in the third of these cream baskets, he has some science stuff, some science experiments like volcano making and crystal making and all these different experiments. So we went through and got rid of like packaging to condense the stuff more. And he has a catapult making kit. And so we got everything out of the box and just put it in a Ziploc bag to just take up less space. And that was it for this area. So I made sure to dust everything on these dressers and then vacuum this area. And then I also cleaned out under the bed. There was a lot of stuff that Jackson squirreled under the bed. So I got all that stuff out. I moved the bed away from the wall and vacuumed there. And then I took all the bedding off of the bed and started washing it. And then next we moved on to the closet. And as you saw, the closet was a mess. It was a disaster in there. So it was definitely in need of organization. And by the way, organizing the kids room is part of my deep cleaning schedule. I have a whole deep cleaning schedule for the year that you can follow if you want. It's on my blog, brittbringsathome.com. I'll put the link to it down below. But organizing the kids' bedrooms is part of November's cleaning jobs. So I did my other son, my four-year-old son, Jace's room in November, and then Jackson's kind of got put on hold, and so we just now got to it. So it's been in need of a good organization for a while. So we went through the clothes in his closet first. We just have his shirts in the closet, and we went through and set aside the ones that were too small. He just turned eight. He still can fit into most of the size seven clothes, but he had some size six clothes in there still so we got those out and got any other ones that were too small and then since he didn't have nearly as many clothes after we got those ones out I moved down the shirts so I had all of the short sleeve shirts at the top since it's winter and all the long sleeve shirts at the bottom but I just moved all of them to the bottom whereas he's able to reach them especially now that it's starting to get warmer and I do them in color order just like with the bookshelf. So I have all the short sleeve shirts together in color order and then all the long sleeve shirts. And I put them like white, gray, black, and then the colors of the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and then brown at the end. Okay, and then we moved on to the toys. So Jackson has this white 
organizer that I got him last year to store some of his toys in. And so we just got everything out of there and threw it on the floor in his bedroom. And we dumped all the toys in there and we wiped down his organizer. And you know, I made Jackson look and see, like, look at all these toys that you have. This is so much, you don't play with all of these. So you definitely need to pick some to give away or throw them away if they're not in good condition at all. And in this pile, there was also a lot of trash. So first we went through and threw out any trash that we saw to get that out of the way. And then we started putting the toys where they go. So in his white organizer, he has three different baskets. And so one is for Hot Wheels. He has a Hot Wheels track and some cars. And so that was easy, he put those away. And then he has other vehicles like remote control cars. So he put those in that basket. And then he has another basket with like smaller random toys like he has a G.I. Joe and I don't know, smaller toys. And then there's two big bins. So the top one is for survival gear. So what he's really into right now is playing survival. So he has like a lantern. He has a go pack with all kinds of things in it. He has like packets of tuna fish, an emergency like blanket and flashlights and all kinds of stuff. So he packed up his go bag how he wanted it to be and then put all of his extra survival gear in that bin. And then in the bottom bin, he has Nerf stuff. So he got all of his Nerf bullets and balls and put them in a bag. And then all of his Nerf guns he put in the bin. And then in the corner of his closet, he has a basket where we put like tall other guns that aren't Nerf guns just for playing cowboy or whatever and swords for playing pirate or whatever. He and his brother like to play fighting a lot. And so he put those away. And then we went through his stuffed animals and this was hard because he likes to keep stuffed animals. And like he knows they're not real, but he has a hard time saying goodbye to his stuffed animals. So, you know, I told him, you know, this is a lot of stuffed animals. So just pick out what which ones are your favorite ones that bring you the most memories or the best memories that you want to keep. So he put those in a pile and then separated the ones that he doesn't like that much or don't have a lot of memories that he was willing to say goodbye to. And we had his stuffed animals by his bookshelf, but we decided to put them in his closet instead and make a nice like row under his shirts. And then he picked his favorite three to put on his bed to sleep with at night. And lastly, we went through all of his little toys. So back to his dresser. In his dresser, there is this cubby hole where we put these little baskets, these three baskets. And so one of them, we're calling it like his serious box. That's where he has like his money, his wallet, his pocket knife, his watch, things like that. And then another one, he has like little army guys. And then in the last one, he has other like little random toys. And then lastly, we went through his Legos. So he has a ton of Legos. He loves playing with Legos. So a few years ago, we got him this big box to put his Legos in. And we've been meaning to organize his Legos for a while now. And in fact, he did start to organize them, but then I think he got overwhelmed with it and didn't finish. And so we finished organizing his Legos today and we organized them by colors. And my youngest son, Jace, helped with us. This was fun for him. So we each got a Ziploc bag and picked a color. So like I chose red, Jace chose green, and Jackson chose blue. And so we each got our colors filled up our bag and then moved on to another color and continue that until all the Legos were sorted. And then we put all the people and people parts together in a bag. We zipped up those Ziploc bags and put them back in that box and put it under his bed. For one thing, because Legos are probably the thing that he plays with the most out of all of his toys. And so he just slides those out from under his bed and gets busy. Usually in the morning before we even start our homeschool, he starts building Legos. So he's either outside surviving or he's in his room playing Legos a lot of the time. And the little red table and chairs in the corner, that's where he likes to keep his 
Lego sets that are made. So after he works really hard making some kind of a Lego creation, of course he doesn't want to, you know, tear it down and put the pieces where they go. So he keeps his creation up on that table there and gets it out and plays with it or adds more onto it or just keeps it there to admire. So this was probably the most time consuming part of this whole job. It took a long time to sort all those little Lego pieces. But it was worth it. Jackson was so excited that it was done. And the next day, he was so happy to get his Legos out and start building a new creation. He told me, Mommy, I am so glad that my Legos are organized. I was able to build this castle so quickly because I knew where all the colors were. So we'll see how long this lasts. Hopefully it stays nice and organized like this for a long time. And my biggest tip for helping your kids to keep their rooms organized is to have them get involved in the process of organizing their own rooms. So because Jackson took the time, we took some time during three days to organize his room and it took over an hour to organize his Lego pieces. So because he took that time to do that and he knows where everything goes, he put the things there himself, then he will be much more likely to keep it organized and put things back where they go. Anyway, so that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you got something out of it and you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and share with a friend that might enjoy watching it too. And also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you can stay up to date on all my videos and learn more ways to keep a healthy and organized home. All right, guys, I will catch you in the next videos from my home to yours. See you next time.